YouTube. Glad to see y'all. Hope y'all glad to see me too. Right, so I just need to clear a few things up real quick about the classes that's coming up for Pandemonium. To give out some information, y'all know Pandemonium coming up next month, February 18th, Palm Bay, Florida. Make sure you be the address. Talk about a little bit of the rules, you know what I'm saying, real quick. Y'all know it's four classes. You got street bikes, you got wrong with your wrong, heavy hitters, and Harleys. Now, I say Harleys, but it's baggers. You know what I'm saying? You don't necessarily have to have a Harley to have a bagger. So it's really bagger is just, you say Harley, you know, whatever. So for the baggers class, it's a hundred dollar entry fee. It is wrong what you wrong when it comes to the Harleys or the baggers, my bad. I wanna say eight mile. Uh, the last one I did, it was eight mile. Eight mile. Quicker, you know what I'm saying? Blase squad. All right. Next, heavy hitters. Heavy hitters, 230 pounds or more. Yes, there will be a scale out there. Especially if you don't look like you're 230, there will be a scale out there. That right there is also wrong with your wrong. The only stipulation, you have to be 230 pounds or more. Then we got the actual Run with your run class. Actual run with your run class is self-explanatory. There are no rules on what you can ride in that class. You show up with a goddamn 28 tire on the back with some wheelie balls or something. It is what it is. You win. There are no stipulations on run with your run. Please don't say, but well, dang, Panda, can you bring the turbo? Can you bring the nitrous bike? What about the hand clutch? What about a slaughter in the Rome Chabon class? There's no rules on what you can ride in that class. You want your bike, whatever it is, that's what you want. There's no, no arguments on that. There's no stipulations. Period. And last but not least, we have the street bike class. Now, in our community, there has been a lot of a lot of opinions on what it should be. I value people's opinions. Love to have insight, or, or I like to hear what other people's views are on how things could go. It might be something I'm missing, you know what I'm saying? Thank you for the advice. But so far, this is how it's gonna be. In the street bike class, have to have a radiator. Have to have true hand clutch. No hand sliders. True hand clutch. You can have a box mod or whatever type of clutch mod you want in there. That's fine. No, no goddamn lockups. No full sliders. No hand sliders. True hand clutch. If it looks like you got a spacer plate, or if it looks like you got a, I mean, if you got a cover. And you got a, it looks like you got a slider clutch in there. We are checking it. And if we check it, and you already paid your money, money is gone. It's in the pot. Don't come with anything slick. You'll be all right. Uh, let's see what else. Radiator, true hand clutch, headlight, tail light. If you have a functioning tail light. If it's a LED bulb, uh, tail light, come on. Functioning tail light, it'll work. Headlight, uh, regular headlight, functioning headlight. Now, we are not doing headlights in different places on the bike. Like you can't have it down there on the swing arm. I mean on the swing arm. You can't have it down there on the forks. You can't have it right up under the plastics has to be in the stock location. So if you got one of the carbon fiber, uh, the aftermarket carbon fiber, one of those, cool, it's a headlight, it works. Let's see, radiator, two hand clutch, headlight, tail light. One of the questions that was asked to me is, well, what about a fuel cell? Uh, so that's cool if you're in the wrong, wrong, 
or you know the other class or whatever. But in a street fight, the only exception for street fight with the gas tank is it could be a lowered gas tank. Not a lowered shell, a lowered gas tank with the, you know, it's all one piece, the all one piece gas tank. Cause you can also have a lowered shell that has a fuel cell attached to it. No, you can't have no fuel cells, none of that. You can have a lowered gas tank. Of course the stock gas tank, yes. But you can have a lowered gas tank that is a gas tank, not a fuel cell. We will be checking for that as well. You know what the lower gas tanks consist of? You know, a little knock and knock, and if we can't figure that out, take off a couple bolts, lift it up. Boom. I mean, that's pretty much it. You come with, come with your street plastics. You know, don't come with no carbon fiber plastics. Uh, you know, all the extra stuff. Get in the room with your bum, man, because if you got all that, we ain't gonna believe it's a true street bike just from looking at it. So, you in a street bike class? Come on, man, come with a street bike. I get it, everybody wants to have the advantage, but they got other things you can do, per se, lighten up the bike to make that happen. All we say is radiator, true hand clutch, street plastics, headlight, tail light, or, and a gas tank, an actual gas tank. Uh, let's see what else. All the glasses are now a hundred dollars. Well, they they all pretty much were except for street bike. Street bike was only fifty. Street bike is now a hundred. That's the entry fee. Entry fee is a hundred dollars. Please, if you can, get there early. Early, early. The event will start no later than one o'clock. No later. I want to start at 12.30. I'm going to see how the, you know, how, how the crowd is. I'm going to see the majority of the people. Because we are, we are, it's, it's, it's a delicate situation, should I say. You know, we're not trying to be out there till it's dark. But we have a couple rules we need to follow while we're out there. And we're going to follow those rules. You have to follow those rules. If you can get there on Friday, stop by, check out the road. Me and my crew will be there preparing, doing preparations, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get the road right. Yes, we will have to prep the road. Some of y'all don't like it, but the way the surface is, we ain't, we ain't trying to have people off in the bushes because it's, 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 it's sandy out there. Well, it was sandy out there. It's, it's a lot better now. So, uh, if, you've looking at my, if you've looked at my other pandemonium videos, you'll see how the surface is. So, it was okay then. It's better now. But I want to make sure both lanes have the same, basically, surface. Not one is a lot more sandier than the other one or you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make it both flames gonna get swept, blow it off, whatever. We're putting prep down at least I'm gonna try to the safety foot. If not more. Um registration cutoff time. The registration cutoff time will be 12 o'clock noon. Registration cutoff time will be 12 o'clock noon. No later. When 12 o'clock here hit, if you're not there in line or uh, you haven't registered already, you won't be able to. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying we're on a schedule. Got to keep the schedule. Um. Also, if you get there early, early enough. Get your shakedowns in. Let's say, let's say we run heavy hitters first, 230 pounds and up. Whatever order you're in, get your bikes to the line. We need the bikes up there. We're not gonna be chasing you. Not, so when we say heavy hitter class, come on up, or heavy hitters, yeah, y'all come on up. We need everybody in that class to have their bikes up there and 
get next to the person that you're racing so y'all will already be set. Just like you would do if you was at a track, how you sitting in line. Get next to that person that you finna run, and that's how we're gonna do it for each class. Uh, after every hit is done, I'm not saying that they going first, I'm just, as an example, the next class right after that is uh, street bike. We need everybody in the street bike class to have their bikes up there. We gotta not chase it. Once we call street bikes, you paying attention, going up there. If the line is moving and you're not up there and your person who you racing is up there pulling up to the line, you ain't nowhere to be found right then. They're gone, your money gone, ain't no, ain't no get backs, none of that. I'm telling you not. Be in the line. We are on a schedule. No buybacks. You lose first round, you lose first round. Stick around, you might have somebody you want to grudge. Somebody you want to have a grudge race. And the reason for no buybacks is because we're on a schedule. Have to buy body rules. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make it to where there's no problems in the future if we want to continue to do this. Alright, so I think that's pretty much it. There are no buybacks. Alright, so that's it. Let's get out there. Let's have some fun, man, like we always do. It's gonna be another epic event and quiet as kept. I think this will be the biggest one that I've had so far. You know what I'm saying? So let's get out there, man. Let's make history again. And uh, I pray everybody get there safely from wherever you're coming from. You know, and I pray that y'all make it back home safely, wherever you got to go at. All right. Love y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for the 10 million views on the channel, man. That's it's unbelievable. Thank y'all. Y'all stay safe. Get them babies ready. It's gonna be epic. <laughs>